That's really, really nice. Really nice. I don't know what this is. I see one end here. It looks like a... I do see something good in here. Let me see. Let me just take a sneak. Oh, oh. Oh my, that's disturbing. Like really disturbing. Yeah. So these are actually probably one of the more disturbing ones just because the combination of items that are in there. Previously on Locker Nuts, we went to another pallet auction by a moving and storage company. We bought a ton of stuff and filled up a big 10 by 30 storage unit that I rented. A lot of it turned out to be furniture and the boxes have mostly held regular inventory or trash, but we did have one really nice gold bracelet that we found. We recently hit the flea market and sold off some of the goods. Now it's time to keep going through those remaining boxes and see what we find. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm gonna save this one to go through with Jana because she's the one who bought this and this is kind of, kind of interesting, concourse. I'll save this for her. We'll go through it together. Okay, next box. There's some jewelry though. Okay. There's something right here. What is that? Oh, that's a little necklace. Look at that. How cool is that? Hmm. We got some more jewelry right here. Doesn't look like anything, but put that aside too. Yeah. Take a closer look at that later. Yeah, this is just like the other clothes that we found. And there was not really anything good in those either. A lot of Target stuff. Lots of Target stuff. Couple of pink. But most of it stink. It's not any different. Well, first of all, here's something here. I don't think that's anything though. But I'll put that aside in our jewelry box. There's another little something in the jewelry box. But look at this. Okay, that's actually really nice. Timberlands. They've never been worn. I don't see one single sign of wear on these shoes. Dang, look at the inside. They're super nice. This has got to be some money right here. What size we got on this? Women's 7. That's really, really nice. Really nice. I don't think I've ever found a nice pair of Timberlands before. And here we've got a practically brand new pair. Good find. What's this? Nothing. Mossimo. Here's some pink though. That's good. Pink. Oh, another pink. That's good. Love, and <laughs> look at that. Love pink. Oh boy, more clothes. Alright, dang it. A lot of more clothes. A lot more clothes. Okay, we got some pillows. Those aren't bad, but those are not big money. Dollar each, maybe. More clothes. Alright, here we've got yet another box of clothes. We hit a lot of boxes of clothes in the last set of boxes that we went through, unfortunately. And they weren't high-level clothes either. A lot of Target brands, like Mossimo and such, there you saw me pull a pink. I'm pulling a few pieces of pink out and putting it in a different box. That'll go to a better market. We get a few more bucks for those. But most everything was dollar each. There was a lot of yoga pants in there. And yoga pants sell pretty well. So thankfully for that. But most everything was just lower end. It was clean. But it doesn't sell like super good. Even at the flea market for a dollar. You know keep in mind you guys that we bought 11 lots at the pallet auction. And almost every lot was from a different person. Maybe a couple times they broke up the lot and sold it by the pallet. So the, by one pallet, that's a lot. By another pallet, that's a lot. But for the most part, one lot is a different person. So we had probably eight, nine people that we bought their stuff from. Everything goes in the truck. Everything gets put in the locker. It gets all mixed up. And we're going through it. It's hard to get a bead on who the people were. There was not very much high-end stuff. None of the people seemed to be like wealthy affluent you know they didn't have nicer things most of the people just had lower end stuff low cost low value and then of course we had the doctor all her stuff was gross and sticky dirty and stinky all right we got oh we got more 
More pillows, more decorative pillows. I'm not gonna even open it. Four more. Okay, you guys, I don't know what this is. I see one end here, it looks like a, I don't know, it almost looks like luggage, but I don't know what this is. Uh, it does look like luggage. Yes. First I thought it was wrapped in a towel. It's not. Just plastic wrap and tape. It's kind of a mystery. I don't know what it is. Some kind of plastic frame inside of it. Let's see. It's some sort of trade show display or something. Let's see. Front gate. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay. It's not cheap. Front gate stuff. It's not cheap. Let's see a power cord here. What the heck is this thing? Okay, the zipper is kind of messed up right here. Hmm. Come on now. Oh, that sucks. All right, let me get, stop it. I'm going to drag it outside. Let's open it out there. All right, let's see if we can get this opened up better. Unfortunately, the zipper is tweaked right here. Oh, this is some sort of a inflatable mattress. Oh, okay. This, yeah, that's what it is. It's one of those ones. Inflates up. There's the hole right there. You either put the yeah the air release to let the air out. That's what it is. It's a very high end air mattress. All right, guys. Here's the here's the car right now. You see, I've been working on this the whole time. I got a nice level building on the trailer here. And since I've got a couple mattresses in here, I'm gonna try to get those mattresses on top. All right. I don't think I'm gonna put this bed frame on there because the thing weighs so much and it's got cracks yeah i just don't think i'll get very much in stockton for it i'm actually think i'm just going to mark it for free so let's now get into some of these boxes and see what we got because i really don't even know what's in there hmm. that's a mirror but what is that it's like rolled up paper it's different. Spike passed the service dog program. All right, good job, Spike. Okay, got another one with a little mirror. Matching one, that's cool. I do see something good in here. Well, not, I wasn't talking about that, but that is kind of interesting. It's different. Boom, TV. Television. Oh, man. Huge scratch right here. Oh, huge scratch. Insignia. Not a special good. Oh, there is a Roku TV. Huh. Okay. So, that's really unfortunate. There's that huge scratch right there. It's gonna make it hard to sell, but uh, it is a Roku, so it's a decent size. What is that? Maybe a 40 inch? So, should be able to sell that at the flea market for a few bucks. The scratch, the scratch is really the difference between getting like 50 bucks and maybe 15 bucks. It's too bad. Disgusting strikes again. Ah, that's what it is. I, well, cardboard's worth more than stinking signs. Why well, should keep that? Just throw it away. Oh, that's cool. Looks like a big sign. It says blessed. Yeah, that's cool. I sell for a few bucks. Not much. But... Okay, there's the base to a TV, so. A TV. It's a big old TV, and based on the weight, I'd say it's probably like a plasma or something. It's 
so no see. So the newer TVs they do not weigh that much. They're much lighter. Yeah, I'll just bring that one straight to the market and sell it. All right, there's my load for tomorrow. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Actually, I might add another mattress to the top. I haven't decided. <laughs> uh, when I get back to my unit, I've got a queen mattress that's got to go. Let me just show you around the unit here. So you can see this, I wanted to go. I just do not have room for it. The back of my truck's mostly empty, but I got to put tables on there. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, right? This is all the better clothes. I'll take that to a better flea market. A couple empty boxes back there, the table. Yeah, these ding doors right here, those gotta go. That glass has gotta go to the dump. Uh, there's a coffee table there, it's decent. All these chairs are really nice. They go with that table back there. Table's a little thrash. This is my some of my Christmas stuff that I was gonna store here, but I decided I'm not gonna keep this unit. Some more of my Christmas stuff. So that's all I gotta go back to my other unit. Looks like I'm gonna have one more dump load. I don't know what these are for. Never figured out what those are for. But anyways, it's a lot emptier. I'm happy. The load today is definitely productive and a lot of stuff for the market tomorrow. Hey there, Locker Nuts. Look what we got here. It's our last item from the pallets. It is a trunk, not just any trunk, but a real pretty one. So if you joined us today and you're watching, before we get started, make sure to subscribe and like to Locker Nuts. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open this bad boy up and see what kind of treasures we have inside. Let's see. So I have to push this in there and let me see. Let me just take a sneak. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay, let me see. X-ray file. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Someone's x-ray films. Do not bend. Um, well, let me see. I've got a light. Maybe I'll look at them. Just like a radio. Oh, that does not look good. There's some large masses. <laughs> Do you see that? Is that someone's pillows? The oh, well. Oh, my. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. But, um. Large masses in the pillows. I think, no, I meant like, I thought it was, I don't. Oh, what is that? Are those like... Shotgun. What? No, it's somebody's... Somebody... It looks like someone's leg. There's the pelvis. It's like they're... Like they have hip. some sort of metal. They're hip, yeah, and they had a metal oh, implant. Oh, that was painful. Oh, my goodness. Poor person. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, wow. I feel a little nauseous just looking at their picture. Okay, so what's next? Okay, this has some personal photos. I'm going to share that. Okay, so the first thing I can see, it looks like there's some sort of fabric. I don't know too much about fabrics, but this is kind of cool. It's very um, exotic looking and it's real pretty and it's in good shape. And then this, it looks like um, maybe it's something for some sort of like religious, right, Jack, would you say? Mm -hmm. has someone's initials on it and it has some really intricate work on it. I mean, really nice. Like this might be something you see in a church. Look at that work. You can see I'll hold it up real close. And then there's a lot of craftsmanship that went into this. It looks old. It has some age to it. It does look um, old. Yeah, it does. It looks really old. F Pi Alpha on our society. We have any Pi Alphas out there? Cap for graduation. These are some bloomers, right? Um, a beanie. This is kind of cool. It's like wool, kind of older. It kind of reminds me of the 70s, right? Doesn't it? Yeah. Like the color. So maybe it had some sort of special significant meaning. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at that. It almost looks like a Boy Scout thing. It has like camping and trees and the moon and some really cool things on it. Being a father book. Oh, this is from 1973. Being a man and being a dad and all these little things. Book darts. That's kind of cool. They look like little bookmarks. You can kind of maybe mark at pages or something. So it looks like a lot of personal photos. This is old. This isn't like an old style cap. Look at that. The hunter green. It's wool. It's got real, would you say, patina to that puppy. Let's check out what these files have in them. Ooh, see that? I'm going to check out what's in here. Okay. 
Oh, this is interesting. It does look like interesting. This is from Massachusetts. So this looks like someone's diary. It does. Yeah. It's about Israel. And um, he's got some Bible verses in there. Little Micah. Um, little Matthew. Check this out. 19. I'm going to have Jack look at. Can you look at the year on this? Look at this little tin man guy. And then look at the bottom here. Can you guys read that? So, um, more personal photos. And then in this box, you can see um, books of prayer. Benedictions. So maybe it was some sort of Catholicism um, that he was involved in. I'm not sure. Looks like that he traveled, though. Right here. He's got some things that are from different countries. Um... Commencement papers, forms. It looks like some graduation from San Francisco State. Kind of cool. Definitely a lot of personal items. Another book. Um, and um, oh, look at we have some more of these figures. So here is the scarecrow that goes with the Ten Man from The Wizard of Oz, and one of everyone's favorite, the lion. So cute. Here is some poems. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm going to read this really quick. It says, Colleen. Colleen is the one I think of more than all the others. She makes me laugh. Laugh when I am down. And then he writes, Colleen laughing, loving with me. Others are jealous of our love. Love so strong that the blank. Very interesting. And then there's some like artwork. With some more, uh, this is a Walt Whitman uh, poem. So, very interesting poems. And then this box right here is chock full of photos. Here's another postcard. There's a lot of different postcards in there. And then another garter. It's so bizarre. There's all these like religious things, but then there's, you know what? Maybe these aren't garters. Maybe these are like angel things for kids. Is that what you think it is? No, they're garters. You Get think? Freak on you think? Really? It has a little angel on it. Okay. okay. I'm disturbed. So, and then this is mineral foot cream right there. I think that brand's actually pretty good. So nail gel for healthy colored looking this nails. This addressed to dear brother Timothy. Hmm. So there, there may have been priests. Maybe. Here's a bunch of different kind of like prayers or different things. Oh my, that's disturbing. Like really disturbing. Yeah. Okay, so some of these photos are a little Look disturbing. At, oh my gosh, okay, should we show that? Show this. I gotta Can show you, this. Okay, Jack's gonna come this in and show you much. these because this is this is beyond my comfort level a little because it's kind of creepy. So go ahead, honey. We just found a letter that indicates that maybe he's a priest because he's addressed his dear brother Timothy, and then it talks about the brothers you went visited us. Brother, always referring to the brothers. Um, found these photos. Check this out. Pumpkins, right? Okay, yeah. I don't know why you keep the pumpkins. Pumpkins. <sighs> pumpkins. That's creepy. It's really weird. That's a scene from a horror movie right there. It really is so disturbing. That's hecka creepy. Yeah, I'm not... Alright, so that's creepy. That's creepy. Why even, like, take these pictures and why keep them? In his you have all this, oh, like... That's in a... I don't know who that is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't barely see it, but still. I saw it. Okay, we just saw a picture of him in the tub. And there's an after photo, I guess. You gotta show these photos. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gross, man. <laughs> this guy's a little weird. Yeah, this dude's a creeper. Right? Okay, you want to get back in the photo? I'm going to edit a lot of that out. Um, okay. So, I'm back. Slightly disturbed. Um, most everything in here we're going to have to go through in real great detail because... <laughs> 
Um, some of it's not um, able to be shown on camera. So uh, a lot of personal things, a lot of personal photos. Um, a lot of private things. A lot of very private things that no one should ever see, including myself. Like pictures of the guy in the tub. So um, actually we haven't come across anything like this in a long time, you guys. It's been a while, right, Jack? Yeah. So these are actually probably one of the more disturbing ones just because the combination of items that are in there, you know, your church items and then your other items. So that is pretty much it for this trunk, right? Yeah, I'd say that's a wrap. It's a wrap, folks. Okay, you guys, so that was a little different. Um, not what we were hoping for, not what we were expecting to come out of that trunk. But, um, yeah, you know what? We usually don't like to put this kind of stuff in the videos, but this time I just felt I had to share it with you guys because mostly because it caught us so unexpected because I think the guy's a priest and we're going through the stuff and it's just like, it's like uh, the ice bucket challenge, you know? It's like someone came behind us and like dumped a five gallon bucket of ice water on us like, what? You know? So, uh, <laughs> pretty... I'll just leave it at that. So anyways, the, we did figure out that that trunk came from the same pallet as the suitcase which produced that gold bracelet. So kind of funny, one of the most disturbing things also produced one of the best things. One of the interesting things in there was there was a binder which chronicled his search to find his parents because he was adopted. And it looks like in about 1990 he started his search. And um, very interesting because there's letters he's writing to the county and um, requesting documents and asking them to whatever open you know basically waive pr privacy protections and help him find his um, birth parents so or birth mother Gianna did look him up on Facebook he's still local and it looks like he did actually find his family because he posted that on Facebook just that found my family and a big celebration was to be had so good for him. Hopefully his family never watches the video and pieces the things together because this kind of stuff you probably don't want your newly found family finding out about. But one thing that I also wanted to mention that was really interesting is that he had documents from, must have been his father, served in the military. There's some honorable discharge paperwork. There's also a death certificate. There's also a will. Um, nothing that interesting in the will. What was really interesting to me is that in there with the death certificate was the funeral paperwork, like brochure from the mortuary, all the funeral instructions, like everything legitimately with and regarding someone's death. But in that paperwork was this. Actually, there's three of these. This is a, it is a photocopy and it's a pretty poor photocopy at that. It's for Dr. Kevorkian. It's a gift certificate for one free visit. And you know who Dr. Kevorkian is? He was the doctor that uh, basically pioneered assisted suicide. So if you went to Dr. Kevorkian, maybe you were terminally ill and you wanted to end things before suffering got too great, he would assist you in basically ending your life. Very controversial, um, kind of historic because I believe Dr. Kevorkian has now passed on very controversial so um what the heck <laughs> what is this is this a joke because at first we're like oh that's a joke right but why would it be in there there was no joke paperwork in there and this is with death stuff so i don't know i don't really know sometimes the answers are not to be found they just raise more questions but uh hmm very interesting this uh last little bit of pallet stuff not a whole bunch of value coming out of our final dig through, but the trunk and some of the stuff and the ties that we're starting to put together. Yeah. <laughs> the stories, guys, the stories. We can't make the stuff up, right? We can't make it up, but I hope that you enjoyed this. Shoot me a thumbs up and tell me um, that you like seeing us going on adventures and taking you with us through these storage lockers. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when future videos come out. All right, and we'll have more to come. I think we're almost through these pallets. We might have just a little teensy weensy bit more. We had a third flea market trip this week, so I'll put a video out to share that with you. More good stuff to come, you guys. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Laganuts.